Say yes and put yourself out there <laughs> right now. You know, no one's going to come knocking at your door to say, I heard you were alone tonight, and I thought I'd just stop by to ask if you'd like to go out. Are you free? Now, maybe that happens in close quarters if you're living in a apartment complex where you have these hallways that kind of look like and function like dorms, you know, the, the doors are close. And it's almost like a hotel. You know, I've been meaning to say hello to my neighbor. I think I'll go and knock on his or her door and introduce myself. <laughs> if we could all be so lucky to have those kinds of close quarters when it comes to living arrangements, but we don't. Many people live in houses and apartments that kind of don't provide such close proximity for such easy, oh, I thought I'd stop by and introduce myself, you know, <laughs> again, don't we wish. So in the meantime, you have to make the effort to get out there. In fact, I remember having a conversation with a young lady who told me her friends were telling her, yeah, you know, uh, so-and-so you need to get out there. You know, you're not going to find uh, the special someone. You're not going to get over your past you got to get yourself out there. So this is a common theme among many people. So getting out there doesn't mean that you have to spend a lot of money, but it might mean investing in some appropriate clothes so you look good. Guys, we need this a lot. You know, ladies, you usually dress pretty well, but us guys, you know, we need to up our game a little bit. Maybe. And perhaps making a list of activities that you can attend where you can meet people of like mind and spirit. In fact, that's what you do. Just make a list of 20 things. You don't have to do them all at once, but 20 things that you want to go and do and just start the ball rolling. Like, I don't know how to play golf. I'm going to start. I'm going to learn how to hit the golf ball from the driving range. I'm going to learn how to putt. I'm going to just learn. And then I'm going to go do things. I've never been to a wine tasting event. I'm going to try that. You know, just make a list of 20 things that you could do that you're curious about and you're just bound to meet people. I once met a woman, a widow, who lost her husband, say to herself, after a period of grieving, Bart, I still am young and active. I think I'll get out there again. And I said, great. She had a job that she loved and good friends to invite her places to meet new faces. And all she needed to do was to make the effort to embrace these opportunities that she could only do so by letting go of the past and embracing the future and getting herself out there. Absolutely. Cherish those memories that you had with that person that, you know, is gone now, but don't let the end of one chapter or book prevent you from starting a new chapter or living your life in a whole new way with a whole new person. Again, you don't forget a lost love, but it is okay to move on. I encouraged her to start living today with the prospect of someone new. So don't waste another minute. Say yes and get yourself out there now. In fact, just a little side note. I know someone who lost her husband and to a, like a freak medical accident. 55 years old, totally like young, energetic, good looking man, gone. They were only married for like three to five years. She was heartbroken. She didn't date, didn't do anything for years. And I told her, I said, you know, I hate to break this to you, but you weren't really in love with, you know, his name, you know, uh, social security number, one, 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 two, 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 three, three, brown hair, green eyes. You know, you weren't in love with that man. She said, well, yes, I was. No, you weren't. Well, what was I in love with? You were in love with the way he made you feel. You were in love with that energy. And that energy is in millions of people. So when one person leaves you, whether death, divorce, separation, accident, I mean, we don't go a day without learning somebody's wife or her husband was trying to take a picture on the edge of a cliff and falls off to their death. I mean, the strangest stuff happens. It's horrible out there. The point is, is we all find people who have energy that make us feel happy. And when one person is gone, that is not your cue to sit around on your butt at home forever. Like another 20 years, just thinking about the past, thinking about the past, you are going to become very lonely because nobody's going to want to hang out with you, you know, because you're not 
living. You're not doing, you're not being. So it's important to respect our past, give respect to those who are in our lives. But remember, everyone comes into your life as a student and a teacher. All relationships end. They all end at some point, time, or another. Health, death, divorce, separation, accident. If you're still alive, you need to stay alive. Live your life and get out there and rekindle that energy with someone new. So say yes and put yourself out there right now or quite soon. How's that?